other threat that I want to talk about, uh, which is increasing as this track does seem to favor the West, is the storm surge. Uh, storm surge, as we've said this morning, is the deadliest part of any hurricane, and it looks like the threat for that storm surge does continue to increase, and that's on top of the already flooded uh, flooded conditions. So here's the, uh, an, an animation, kind of an uh, explainer of why storm surge happens and, and how it happens. Yeah, and it's not just waves, and that's the difference here. So you see waves coming on in, normal sea level right there, but then we get a surge as the eye wall approaches. Not the eye, pretty close to the eye, but with the eye wall, you get a surge where the water rises. The actual level of the sea rises. So there it is rising three feet. You still have the waves on top of it. And when you take a level of three feet to five feet, six feet, that water moves inland a long way, depending on the lay of the land. And that's why there are some places that will be inundated with water. And then you have the battering waves on top of that. So when you see the video, look at that 12 plus feet. Which that's gonna is be what the forecast is on Sanibel right now, up to 12 feet. Feet. Exactly. And so you saw that home right there completely inundated. So any uh, low-lying structures, the lowest ones, could be in very, very vulnerable. When you see the pictures after, and again, we see the before, we see the pictures after. We never see it as it's happening because there are no crews out there. It's just too dangerous. And then you say, how did this happen? Mm -hmm. It's the ocean that is moving inland, or here, in this case, the Gulf of Mexico that is going to move inland and actually take the houses off the foundations with the wind tearing the roofs off. And you, you had a really good example earlier where you said you can see a boat as it's driving through a lake or an ocean or whatever, and that bubble of water that comes up at the edge of the boat, that's essentially what's happening. The hurricane is pushing this bubble of water up onto the land surface, and that's why we're seeing uh, greater than nine feet in some spots above ground. Yeah. Um, and that's, like you said, not just waves, but we're talking a wall of water. And it comes in with the strongest wind of the hurricane. Mm. They both come in simultaneously, and sometimes there's a break between one of those outer bands and that eye wall. So here's the latest.